Hi, I'm Maryam Machu Pinto. Four months ago I had cataract surgery with a light adjustable lens. It's going great. Uh, my vision is almost perfect. Great color. I can do a lot of things that I couldn't do before. I love night driving. Uh, I can play bells again in my bell choir. I was up where I couldn't even read the music. Working on the computer is easy. It's just like a, everything's just different, better. I mean, I had glasses from the time I was a little kid, and then as a young adult, I went over to contacts, and eventually I had LASIK um, surgery 22 years ago, and I loved that. I mean, I had the monovision, so I didn't have contacts or glasses for several years. And then age comes along, and then you have cheaters. So I had cheaters for a while, and, but, that was okay, you just kind of adjust to that. But then a few months ago, I started having signs of what were to be cataracts. That was when my night vision was bad, halos and blurriness, and I got to where I wouldn't drive at night. That's how scary that was. And I'm pretty independent and I'm a good driver, but just couldn't do that. So I went to my uh, ophthalmologist and he said yeah you've got cataracts now and he referred me here to True Vision. It's like a well-oiled machine there's minimal wait times people know what they're doing they explain it they're, and, and they're cons they consistently do that on every visit even if it's a busy day and I can tell with medical background I can tell when when things aren't going like you want them to because that's life and that's the medical field, but you just would never know. So very impressed, very knowledgeable, and each, so consistent. Each time you see someone, even if you've seen them before, it's explaining it again, what exactly they're doing, and um, asking how you're doing with everyone, with Dr. Chu and the whole team. I wanted back what I lost. And to get back what I lost, I had to have the light adjustable. Um, actually, I, having had the LASIK surgery years before, I might have gone with the monovision option, but my corneas from the original LASIK, I think were, it was either too thin, I think is what it is, that it was either then the basic or the light adjustable, and I wanted the light adjustable. It basically gave me back what the cataracts took away. The cataract surgery takes away some of the blurriness and all of that, but you're still going to have to wear glasses, and I didn't want to wear glasses because I had so much of my life based on the wonderful technology out there where I didn't wear glasses, and I just didn't want to go back to that. But I think for everybody, it depends on where their journey is at because I spoke to one patient one day while I was waiting, and she loves her glasses. She's got several pair. And she goes, I love my glasses, and they've never bothered me, and the insurance covers everything. She goes, that's what I'm sticking with, and that was her journey. So I think it's really important, important and a distinction that everybody's journey is different, but it's great that there's options for what different people. And Dr. Chu, he, he's just so calm, so calming. There's just something about him. He's, he's, he calms you, and he centers you. And he keeps it simple, gets to the point. I don't know how else to explain it. It's just kind of, he's very, he's just very knowledgeable, says what he has to say, very kind, very compassionate. He takes the complexity out of it. And I think that that just makes patients feel more comfortable and takes away some of the anxiety. Okay, so I was anxious about surgery. I mean, I think there's always a little anticipatory anxiety that comes with any kind of surgery. It's your eyes. And then you drive up and you get out of the car and everybody takes over. And it all just goes so seamlessly, whether it's from the warm blanket to Dr. Chu shaking your hand right before you go in and all the other people on the team that are helping. It just, it's just a well, again, well-oiled machine and it, you just feel the competence and the experience. And if I had to tell somebody that was gonna have the surgery about this, I would say it's okay to have some anticipatory anxiety because we're human. That's normal. But to assure you, once you get there, it'll all change for you. So after, so you have the first month to six weeks where your eyes have to 
your eyes have to heal from the surgery. So you come back and they do an eye exam, check your vision, and based on what they find, they'll do one or two things. They'll say, well, based on what we're seeing today, we're gonna wait another week and have you come back. Because doing the light adjustments, they can only do a particular number, and they wanna be able to do the final lock-in, and they wanna give you the best vision that they can give you. So I did, it, it was every other week for me. And, and then you go have the adjustment and they put the contact lens on your eye and a nurse holds your head still just because it's a very exact science and then Dr. Chu does the light thing, which is actually quite beautiful, brilliant, beautiful. And then your eyes are pretty dilated. I would say that people always say, well, you can wear I mean, you can drive or not, depending on what you want to do, but some, with the light sensitive, I had, it was, it was hard to drive. So after that, I had somebody drive me because it, it was okay after, I don't know, for just that. I don't know if it was the bright light. Yeah, so that, so that's what they did every week. And there was no pain involved. They counted so that you only had a minute or a minute and a half. They counted while it was happening. It, it just, it was fine. And that's all part of, of the team as well. You've got the one person that's gently holding your head. You have another person who's telling you you're doing a great job. You got Dr. Chu doing his thing, plus telling you it's doing a great job and that it looks beautiful. And you just, you just get through it all. It's fascinating. And then when you're done, when you're all done and that's your last visit for several weeks, you kind of go, well, I would never think I was gonna miss this, but. <laughs> You know, because at the beginning you're kind of going, well, this is really a long journey. Cause it is, it, it is, but it, I think with the light adjustable, you just have to be patient. There's, a, a, there's an investment there on many levels. For me, it was worth it, but you really got to make sure that that's something you want to go for because um, there's, there's no guarantees for perfection, but my experience was pretty great, so. Because it does take longer, it's such a gradual. But when you stop and think, think back to the night driving where you rushed home so that you didn't have to face the fear of what you experienced. And when you think back to that, you know, the mind lets that stuff go when it's all gone. <laughs> when it's no longer there, you're like, well, this is great. And then you think back, wow. So it, 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 was, it was gradual, but yeah, night driving has got to be, and, and the deal breaker for me, I run the bell choir at, at church and I play bells, and I, that was part of the, the deal breaker for, for taking that choice too, is, is that I couldn't read my bell music. And there's nothing you can, there was nothing you could do for that, for the di that kind of distance. So I was like, okay, that, that was one of the deal breakers for me on that one. So back to playing bells, just in time for Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Just that everybody has the innate ability to treat you like you're the only person in the room, no matter what's going on around you. You don't see that and you don't feel it. That's a true gift of a, of a leader and, and his or her team. And I, I guess I would say to Dr. Chu and his team, just thank you. Thank you for giving the gift of enhanced sight to so many people, one patient at a time.